Hi guys, Game Talk, Ajax Erkase, Yadirenko, welcome again. Last week it was Go Ahead Eagles, we lost that game. Today we almost lost points, but at the end we still managed to win three points. Yes, the Angels are smiling down upon, upon us, I know. Um, how did you how did you see that game? What are your thoughts, your feelings, just right after the game? Um, it, it, it wasn't really bad. It wasn't really good. Uh, I think loads of chances. Ajax was uh, a lot better as uh, RKC, but two stupid uh, goals against. And you're in, uh, in trouble. And then the ball didn't want to go in. And we needed... Uh, uh, I think uh, a rightful uh, penalty uh, to uh, to get the three points. Um, yeah, so that's you, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's a, that's a very good uh, summary, basically, of the game. Um, let's let's touch upon the first half. The first half. How did you see Ajax start the game? Uh, were you content about the first uh, first forty five minutes? Mm, no, not really. The tempo wasn't really high, but after the one zero. Uh, the tempo uh, uh, went a bit up and then immediately the 2-0 uh, and uh, uh, chances for the 3-0 uh, uh, accumulated and then it, it uh, yeah, it, uh, how do you say it? It, 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 fl it flew uh, towards the, uh, the break. Um, yeah. but, but, but you can see in these kind of games then that uh, when when they uh, play a little bit ball, how much more quality they have as the opponent. Yes. Um, so we go into the break, right? We go into the break 2-0. I mean, everything yeah. basically is thinking, okay, um, we're almost there. I mean, we're basically there. We're playing at the Johan Cruyff Arena at home, 2-0 uh, up. We're going to just play it out basically in the second half. So what happens exactly? What's your view on how, how do we can see these goals? And not only that, I also mentioned this to Ajax earlier. They had a third chance, but the guy didn't shoot the ball because he had a chance to shoot. We didn't know if he would, what that would mean. Um, but it was a very dangerous situation as well. So there was a situation in, we, in which we could have conceded three goals in just 20, 25 minutes. What is happening in that situation? And why are we looking vulnerable uh, in transition. Why is this coming back again? While in the first half of the season, there was no issues whatsoever. Do you blame this on the fact that Timber is not there? Masrui is not there? Our organization is completely gone? Yes? It can be that simple, yeah, it, right? It, it, it can it, be it's that not, simple. It's not, yeah. it's, it's, it's not only on Timber, uh, because uh, normally uh, Martinez is, is, I think, the leader uh, uh, in the in the in the back line, uh, but in in some strange way, Timber and Martinez together are like three players uh, 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 on the pitch. Uh, it's uh, they're they're really uh, well together uh, uh, when you put them on the pitch. Uh, um, but, but but I I didn't even think uh, Per Schuurs did uh, did a ter terrible job uh, today. But he looked uh, shaky but, in the but, second half. He looked shaky after a while. Wrench also. Yeah, but, but, that's, but, that, but that's also uh, the, the perk of uh, uh, Per Schuurs. You know, when, he co when you put him in that situation, he's vulnerable. Uh, it's just like Blint uh, uh, in, on the CV position. When you put him in that kind of position, one -on -one. he's vulnerable. With the second goal, Blint was... I don't know what Blint was doing, but he wasn't defending because he was leaving his player uh, and he, was, he wasn't he was cutting, uh, cutting uh, the, the pass to the player off. He, he was just blindly focused on, on, on the other player and left it. Really, don't, you really think, don't, you think that Ranch, don't you think that Ranch one-on-one -on -one has to make sure the defender cannot go inside? On the second goal? No, no. You, you, uh, with, with Van Gaal, you had... Uh, uh, that you block the easiest corner. So uh, with his philosophy, if he goes inside, you just block the short corner. So you always have to uh, play long. And there you have an excellent keeper for him. Exactly. That, that was his philosophy. And I think, I think Van Gaal uh, is, uh, is right in that perspective. If you, uh, if you score from that position, uh, then you always need to step in and... Uh, uh, do something wrong as a defender because if you just block it, 
he has to go around you and there's the keeper. Yeah. How about that second goal? Do you think Onana could have done more or not really? He was wrong footed, right? Wrong footed. Yeah, it's 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 going fast and you're reacting on what the player is going to do and he's shooting and you're yeah, on you're on the wrong foot and then you're gone basically. Yeah. Uh, okay. But but I think the fault wasn't really with Onana. I I think the fault was uh, with not uh, interfering soon enough, not pressuring soon enough, and the horrible uh, not blocking of uh, uh, the ball of uh, Blind. Okay. Because he, so, he, he he didn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. So defensively, you already mentioned we have a couple of vulnerabilities, especially in this uh, second half. Let's talk about the attack. I mean, if you look at the stats, I mean, stats doesn't say anything. There's also an eye test. You also watch the game with your eyes. But I'm just trying to make sense of everything. So we had many more chances. Uh, we were much more uh, uh, threatening going into attack. Why does it uh, appear so difficult for us to score and just run away with the game? Do you have yeah, any reason for that? No, I, I, I think it's I think it's hard uh, because I think uh, Anthony really did his best today, uh, but he wasn't really really playing well. But he put all the effort in it and tried it tried again and again and again and again. That's the reason why I made him uh, man of the match. Uh, Tadic wasn't on par uh, like he's, he normally is, but he made that decisive uh, penalty. He just put a blindfold on and shoot it in. Yes. So that's that's terrific. But but uh, yeah, my concern, and I'm I'm now coming to an old issue where I have I I don't think Haller is an uh, is a is an Ajax uh, striker. And he, he does very well when you put the ball within the five meters in front of the goal without keeper. Then he does really well. Come on. The second uh, goal was different. The second goal was nice. The, sec the second goal was great. But okay. uh, uh, he, he just makes too less of those and too much tap-ins. Uh, and and uh, besides that, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't add any value. He's not good in the combination. Uh, when, uh, when you give him the ball, uh, it bounces everywhere except for in his foot uh, so, so that's not not the way you can really play a combination uh, 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 kind of game with Berghuis and Gravenberg around that L look at the 1819 campaign where Tadic was in the center who isn't really a striker but is someone who can uh, 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 protect the ball and who can combine in 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 short space you have? Okay. Uh, so that, that worked excellent. So basically, what you're saying is the fluidity going into attack through the center with Haller is is just not there. That's basically what you're saying. But at the same time, my question would be, isn't Ten Hag trying to play around that because we're playing much more from the size? If you see how many balls are thrown into this 16 16 yard box, I mean, most of those balls are not effective. But that's not Haller's fault. There's something wrong in that execution, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I want I want your opinion. Yeah, go ahead. You want to add something to that? Yeah, I, I think what's going on going on there is 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 pressure because uh, if you do have the pressure, then you do then you have one or two players who are always behind uh, uh, Haller. So if Haller doesn't uh, give the header, the other one can uh, and. Uh, that's what it's uh, a little bit lacking on, in, in my perspective. Yeah, okay. Look, uh, at the end, let's uh, be a bit happy and relieved. We have three points, three, two. Looking forward, right? I mean, honestly, I also asked this question before to Ajax. Go ahead, we didn't expect it. We lost. As yet, we were a bit uh, thinking, oh, it's going to be difficult. That was actually a good game from us defensively or as an organization and everything like that. And now going into RKC, we didn't expect this game to unfold like it did. And we're going to come here on Friday, and then we have Benfica and then Feyenoord. Are you worried about uh, the form of Ajax at the moment? Or are you like, uh, no, these games happen throughout the season. And I think Ajax will not make that mistake again. And we have only nine games to go. I think they're awake now. No, the, 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 the trouble is, uh, as always, that uh, when it doesn't go well, that there's no, uh, there's no acceleration. There's no uh, um, uh, something new they bring to the table. 
if during it's the game, aggression, during, if during it's the game, tempo, during the game, during the game. Yeah, yeah. I th I think today you should you you uh, uh, we saw that uh, uh, when uh, RKC scored, they upped the tempo a bit. Then the two two came and they kept that tempo and that's that's great but uh when they uh um uh, are not playing uh well or if they play bad they don't seem to be able to really up the tempo and break the opponent um and uh today uh, uh i think fsa was just too weak to keep holding on and uh, you have a little bit of luck with the uh, with the penalty because if he doesn't do it, you get a corner or a goal kick, whatever. But it's going to be harder to uh, to score, uh, mm -hmm. and that, that that's also a, a thing uh, which is strange. Uh, the, the corners uh, were a weapon in the past from Ajax, um, but now they're just corners. Um, so that's that's uh, that, that's uh, a chance thrown away, I think. Yeah. Well, we have yeah, a couple of players. That. Yeah, we have a couple of players like Berghuis or Tadic. They have very good kicks, you know. So it's it's strange. And we have uh, Martinez, yeah. we have Haller, we have Schuurs today. They're good. They can head the ball pretty good. So yeah, it's yeah. it's a good uh, yeah, it's a good point. Look, uh, coming back to my point, right? I mean, looking forward, how do you see that? Are you a bit worried, or are you more like, I mean? Ajax is capable of, you know, like picking themselves up and just throwing in a better performance in the upcoming games. It's also going into the Champions League with Benfica next week. I, I think the Champions League won't be a problem uh, because uh, there's audience on the, in the stadium again. Uh, so I think they will lift it up uh, a little bit. Uh, they know how important it is. Uh, uh, and uh, they do have to win. They, they cannot do anything else. They do have to win. Uh, and uh, that's what I think uh, brings the best in uh, Ajax under Ten Hag. Uh, uh, look at Real Madrid. Look at uh, uh, Juventus. When they, when they uh, are not in uh, the, uh, the, the driving seat, if, if, if you say, in, if, if they do have to bring something extra in the Champions League, then uh, those games uh, uh, are the best, I think. So you can, uh, in you that can perspective, also, it's good that it was 2-2, two, two, because otherwise... Can, yeah, exactly. But you can also argue that um, we also have to win every Eredivisie match at the moment. We don't have that luxury anymore, because PSV is winning their matches too. You know, only three points, I think, behind us right now. Yeah, but they're, they're really, really playing terrible. So, so they will still drop winning. some points. But they're still so, yeah, winning. but they will drop some points. They, 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 they won't... Hold it on, otherwise, otherwise Schmidt is gonna change the whole team in uh, half time, and then he fucks it up that way. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> okay, so um, let's end on high. Um, the most positive thing about today for you? Uh, three points. 